I was being held underwater for a really long time and I was right on the edge of panicking and I remember being tumbled around and not being able to get to the surface where the air was and looking down and seeing my body spinning around in the white water being able to stay calm and hold your breath in those situations. That was a validation of all, everything that I'd learned and, and done so far in yoga. I was born here in Hawaii. I'd always been a surfer since I was 10 years old. And I think it was in 1968, I saw a bunch of girls around a bulletin board, saw that they were going to a yoga class so I think I went to that yoga class hoping to see them again. But actually what I discovered was something that really changed my life from pretty much that point forward. It was in this yoga class watching this instructor move from one basic asana to the next that I realized, wow, if you could move like she moves on a surfboard, you really would have it licked and I thought that's got to be the perfect thing for serving. I think it was and yoga has been a part of my life ever since. We were in the transition at that time in surfing from the long boards to the shorter boards which translated into higher performance able to do more things on the wave than had been possible with the older equipment. And surfing really became less about strength and more about flexibility. And yoga is a wonderful blend of not only building strength, but increasing flexibility. As we got more into yoga, we started to understand that the pranayama and breathing practices really had a great deal to do with holding your breath when you got in a bad wipeout in Big Surf. And the meditation also had a tremendous amount to do with it. You know, having this whole surfing thing was uh, really a, a search, a mission to try and find, I guess, myself, my identity through surfing. and. One of the great lessons that surfing teaches you is to be able to go with the flow smoothly and to be in the moment spontaneously. And I try and impart that when I'm teaching a class so that people will forget about expectations or disappointment because they're not able to do a pose like the person next to them and just be in their space and in their practice in their body. In 1968, <laughs> there, you know, yoga wasn't like it is today. You know, yoga back then was presented as a complete lifestyle whose purpose was directed towards a spiritual awakening or enlightenment. Surfing and yoga is not about perfecting the pose or your technique or you know, anything you do. I mean, it's all about that process. That way it becomes an ongoing evolution.